Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to another DIY. Today I want to share with you this home decor type idea. We're going to be making one item and I'm going to be showing you three ways on how you can decorate your space. It's pretty affordable, it's pretty easy to make and it's great if you want to add something new and green to your space. So to make my home decor I'm going to be using one of these foam bowls that I got at the craft store and I'm going to just um, be working over this plate like for soup and stuff just to make it easier for me to apply the glue and all that stuff. I'm going to be using some moss, fake moss and then I'm going to be using this kind of hanging leaves this is, uh, it's quite long, but just something that is long enough for me to cover my whole bowl. And just so you know, as a reference, this is 3 meters long. Okay, so some other materials we might be using is some glue, my brush, and probably hot glue. I'm going to be working over a tray with some parchment paper or wax paper, and I'm just going to pretty much and then just Again, this step is optional, but it's just way easier for me to just separate the whole thing. I'm going to go with my glue and then with my brush, smoothing the whole thing. Once I have done that, I'm going to just take my bowl and I'm going to just place it, place it like that. I'm just going to start covering the whole thing. Try to go back by sections and try to make the whole thing at once because it's going to be really hard. I'm pretty much doing the same thing here. Okay, this has been drying and set and it's still in here. And we're not taking this ball and placing it on my hand like that. And then I have a plastic bag here. And then I'm going to be putting my ball like this. This is just to prevent all the fallouts because it gets really messy and I'm pretty much going to be doing the same thing okay so we're back and everything is covered now and I left it like set there for about overnight so we're going to be using a hot glue gun so I'm pretty much gluing here on the back in different places or spots and then just Letting it sit for a while there, and then I'm going to actually I'm going to put this like that. I'm placing my next. I'm going like this, and then I'm going the whole thing, and then going into the back again. I'm going to apply glue. I'm going to actually be cutting these things because I'm not going to be using them. I think. So pretty much be random in the places where you're applying your leaves until you're done. And I keep on pushing this until the whole thing has been cold a bit. Because if it's still too warm and you stop pushing, it's not ready yet. in a bit okay so I got to the point where I have two options and ended up all the way around and I have the option of just ending it here and just finishing the whole round and just cut it I'm just going to go up like that and for that I'm simply going to be adding glue in this place sorry about my nails they are gross right now as you can see they are overlapping that's okay it's totally fine in fact, that looks cool. And I'm going to place... I'm going to cut this one. And once this is done, we're going to go up. But this one, I'm going to just cut it. So right now we're just going to be working with like independent, independent um, individual leaves. I'm going to put this on the back in there. Or you can glue them individually. That's another option. I just went for the whole thing. And we'll be right back to just end the whole thing. Now I'm going to show you ideas on how you can decorate it. You can pretty much 
do whatever you want. This is a multi-purpose uh, deco item. What I did here is I placed, this is actually a cupcake stand that I do have to draw as well. And I placed the leftovers of the leaves in there. And I just pretty much placed this on the top. And this is idea number one. For idea number two is pretty much the same. I'm just placing on the bottom one of this plastic floral base. Things that you can get at Walmart and all those places. But this is another idea how you can decorate your space. This could be more for the outside. Maybe you have a mini patio or something like that. Or maybe you have a balcony and you want to put something in there. This is another option. Okay, for the third idea we're going to be actually hanging it. I'm not going to be hanging this on my house. This is actually a project for somebody else that they asked me to do it. But I'm going to tell you what to do and how to hang it. First of all, you need to find like the best side, this part. So this is going to be my top. And to actually hang it, I'm going to be using a screw like this one, putting that inside, like that. So it's there. Now to hang it, I would go and just uh, use one of those transparent threads. I don't have it, just imagine this is one of those transparent threads. This is where I have with my thread. I have one side that has this loop, the other side with both ends. I'm going to go all the way around like so. I'm going to place my end through this loop like that. Okay? And then secure it. Because I want it to be super secure, I'm going to be doing the same thing all over again. And I would suggest you as well to get more thread than what you actually need because it's easier to get excess than to just run out of. And then you can always secure it on the way down. And I'm just going to secure this whole thing by adding a ton of glue in there. So nothing falls. Everything just stays in place. And another thing you can do is if you have any leftover moss, you can always cover the whole area. Okay, after I did that, so I'm just going to be cutting random pieces from here and there, and random sizes as well. So I'm going to be working over this glass because I need the height to glue these things in. And then I'm just going to be choosing which one goes where. And I'm just going to be gluing it to the back. And then to, towards the ends, I'm just going to make a knot. And this would be option number three, hanging. I'm not really sure how it goes. I probably would go to places like Home Depot and ask for some help on that department, but I'm pretty sure you have to make a hole. Yeah, I just want to share this three options of your, how you can decorate your space on a budget. Out of the three ideas, I think I like this one the best. And I think it's a good option to always add something green to your space because it's going to change the vibe of the whole like space. It's going to open it a bit and it's going to feel like more cozy. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share this video. Let me know what you think of it. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.